Good evening, everyone. Welcome in. My camera is off center, and that's driving me not so but so. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Retro Adventure Wednesday. It's me, your old pal, your third favorite streamer, Decap Jedi, and I am here tonight with a game I've never played before. That's exciting. It's it's rare that we go into a Retro Adventure Wednesday game that I just have really no experience with whatsoever. But uh, that's definitely the case here tonight as we launch into Flight of the Amazon Queen. Uh, I don't even know what year this game was. I'm going to say, what, like 92-ish? I should look that up. Uh, that seems like important information for me to know. That way I can judge it by the standards of its time. Uh, 1995. Uh, what we're going to see here is a, uh, a game from uh, Interactive Binary Illusions. It's going to be a uh, classic point-and-click. It's going to remind us, I think, a lot of a LucasArts game. And we will see uh, what goes down from here. But welcome in. Happy Retro Adventure Wednesday. Hope everyone is doing well. It's been a great day here. My semester's winding down. I'm nearly sabbatical Jess. Uh, just a couple of few tiny little tasks to take care of. And then uh, I'll just spend the rest of this calendar year not working. Uh, I'm very excited about that opportunity. Uh, so uh, that's what lies ahead. If you thought I was slovenly now, just waiting to see the uh, the heights I can soar to or the depths I can dive to, uh, especially once a new Zelda game is out in a couple of weeks. But welcome in, everyone. Good to see you. Hey, Mac, RJ, Grayson, glad you're here. Glad you're trying to rebuild uh, those uh, those floppy disk stockpiles. Fit, always a pleasure. Clil, there's Dr. Mario, Zach Maddock, Ricky, Tom. Oh, my goodness. We've got the whole crew here. This is Pickled Dog. Howdy, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, yeah. technically big publishing plans. I actually have a couple of projects that are in the works that should come to fruition over the next few months. So technically, I won't be not working, but I wouldn't say that I'll be super working either. It's going to be a nice balance of almost working. And that's right. Our is exactly right. Uh, having uh, several months off from work will give me an excellent opportunity to get good. Decaf Jedi here for Jess gets good because that's why it's all about is delivering to y'all the uh, the highest caliber of play. I was just on Reddit the other day and you know uh, looking at a thread that was like, how can I bring streamers or sorry bring viewers into my channel as a uh, as a small time streamer? And they said just get really good at a game and the viewers will start rolling in and. Uh, I figured I'll just get really good at every game, and then I should be able to get all the viewers. So that's that's the plan, and we're gonna start right here with Fly the Amazon Queen. Uh, that's right. This uh, this is Amazon sponsored. Um, so uh, yeah, enjoy. This was uh, this was on my flight of the Amazon Queen wish list. Let's uh, play the game. All right, please. Oh no, broadcast. It says explicitly. On the splash screen, not to broadcast this. This is this is a problem. Uh oh. Ah, oh, beans. An abandoned warehouse in Buenos Aires, circa 1949. Was it 1949 or is it circa? We know. <laughs> we know it's 36 seconds past the minute, but the years kind of give or take. Well, King. You really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? One what? Did you hear that? Hear what? <laughs> Sparky? You know him? Sparky? Don't just stand there, guys. 
We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm oh, no, one it's Big step U. ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them. Oh no. Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. Oh, look at that this pan. Time. Wait, did Big Q blow himself up? That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's That's not go, many hours. Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Probably not. Only if you're lucky. <laughs> Wow. It's so disconcerting to me that this uses the Scum VM font. Or rather, the Scum Engine font, not Scum VM. Hey, Nathan, good to see you. Living Rods. This game dares to ask, what if Indiana Jones got a worse hat? Do you think there's anyone who played Fly the Amazon Queen and Wait then here, saw Indiana Ronnie, Jones? And get Miss Russell. I was like, oh, this movie's just a ripoff of Fly the Amazon Queen. Anderson. What are you doing here? And Samson where's Cooper. Miss Russell? You fool, King. Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell, the most beautiful actress of our time, into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um, well, yeah. I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But but she's my favorite actress. <laughs> Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Faye to the Amazon for her photo shoot. And mm. I will get all the glory soon. I will Boom. rule the skies! Boom. Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> it's locked. <sighs> My Why one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am, trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here. Okay, let's see, I think my volume may be a little cranked. Knock that down a little bit. Let's see if that's a little better. Yeah, cheap theater hotel that has still prison doors. This is a, this is a great point. All right, I hate this interface. The great Markham, eh? The only thing he made disappear was my girlfriend. Wow. The great Markham, eh? The oh. only thing he made disappear was my girlfriend. Great Markham, eh? Guess there's nothing there. Look at Tunk. This is the great Markham's trunk. No, oh, the only thing he ever made disappear was my like girlfriend. Been around, and I don't mean holidays. All right. Let's see what we have here. Open. I could do that, but it'd be a waste of time. Use. That doesn't seem to work. What's the third verb? Move. I can't move it. That's weird because I like to move it. Move it. 
Looks like someone left these here to be washed. This is a good this point. My lucky bat when I played in the majors. Oh, of course he played in the majors. Okay, uh, what team do we think that Joe King uh, played for in the majors? Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. Sweet. Look at other sheet. Wait a minute. There's something under here. Hmm. Look at laundry shoot, eh? What? What an odd place to, uh, to put your uh, put your laundry shoot. It's locked. Oh, wait. Let's see. Do we have pull? Is pull an option? Maybe use? Ooh la la. I've always had a thing for brunettes and blondes. <laughs> he likes Ooh. women. He can't get enough. Even mannequin heads uh, are exciting to Joe King. That dame is a guy. Sure had me fooled. Mira, mira, on the wall. Who's the handsomest pilot of them all? This guy's uh, really something, huh? Grab a wig. <laughs> I gotta leave it here. I'm with you. I think I might have uh, locked this guy away too. He seems like a lot. This is like a lot to deal with. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. No way. What would I do if it answered me? <laughs> oh wait, I've had to do one of these moves. Yeah, here we go. This sheet rope is really long. The long sheet rope. This sheet rope is really long. Radiator, that's why I'd tie it to. There, that should do the trick. This voice, though. So, a lot of the voices in this game are apparently performed by the actor who played Porkins in Star Wars A New Hope. Uh, so if you're a big fan of that member of the X-Wing fighter group, uh, he uh, did a lot of the voices here. I guess this is after he was blown up. Um, and in the German version of this, apparently Christoph Waltz, a uh, famed actor, performs uh, some of the voices. So yeah, there you go. Porkins. Yes, there is, um, there is an X-Wing guy who gets blown up in uh, the final raid on the Death Star named Porkins. I think it's like Jack Porkins. Oh, he's the guy that says top men in Raiders. I didn't realize that. Family friend, I'm guessing? I mean, here's the thing so far. This is a nice looking game. Decent uh, art so far. I can't quite reach it. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think I need that. Hmm. Great, just what I need. A box of rubber tools. You never can tell. I don't think I'd have any use for that. Rubber mallet is a very useful tool. Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. Oh, wow. Now this... Look, po drop everything, because we have a great redemption here from our old pal, Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario redeems. And uh, Grayson, if you would just save up a few more floppies, this could have been you redeeming right now. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey is Indiana Jones running away from a boulder. I like everything about this. So if you've never seen artificial intelligence before, and I'm sure you have, 
You've all been here before. We're all old friends here. But this is where we take a user generated prompt. We plug it in to the mid journey AI bot. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's going to be beautiful. We're going to get an image generated of Gilbert Godfrey as Indiana Jones running away from a boulder. So let's see what we get when mid journey starts working on this. And then I will post the results on screen as soon as it's done. Okay. It's hard at work. I can tell the robot was like very happy to see this. This was something the robot really wanted to, uh, to tackle for us. So I've never seen an artifact that belongs more in a museum. Uh, I don't have a Gilbert Godfrey. I have a great Iago, uh, but not a Gilbert Godfrey. Let's see. So it's working. Uh, <laughs> Mid Journey is taking this under consideration. It's currently mulling it over. It's uh, it's not giving me a percentage finished yet. Uh, so it's like, what can I do with this excellent prompt? Um, but it's working hard. It, it's coming at this. It's going to make true art. In the meantime, maybe we'll play a little bit more. It looks like it's running a little slow tonight. If I don't check back in momentarily, remind me we are waiting on that redemption to come true. Oh, nope. There it is. It's done. It did it, and it was fast. And, uh, I mean, here's the thing. It got some of what you were asking for. <laughs> I think that it couldn't quite uh, that's right, Cregan. I met the guy from Othello. Um, it couldn't quite figure out what a Gilbert Godfrey is. It should know this. Um, I mean, Gilbert Godfrey is, uh, you know, a, a famed actor who, uh, who an AI should be able to replicate accurately. But here's what we got. Here's the results of Gilbert Godfrey running away from a boulder dressed as Indiana Jones. So, we, we mostly got dressed as Indiana Jones. We got running away. We did not get the thing that he's running away from being a boulder, although there are boulders in all the images. I'm going to say upper right-hand corner is the closest to a Gilbert Godfrey, but even then, it's not really what we were looking for, right? Like, that is... Uh, that's still just not there. If I move this just a little bit, we can just pretend like this is what the game is, right? <laughs> this, is, this is now... Uh, what fly the Amazon Queen is. We'll just merge it into uh, our uh, our overlay here. Um, but yeah, that's that's the best it can do. Um, bottom right could be a young male Brooks. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Gallo. A bit athletic for Gilbert. Yeah, I feel like this is great. This is a great point, Gallo's. I feel like Gilbert uh, Godfrey would maybe more be slinking away from a uh, boulder than, uh, than maybe running from it, but uh, yeah, there you go. I think we're going to have to say that is uh, not its uh, its finest work. But thank you for redeeming that. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the action. Welcome in, Gallows. Hope you're doing well this evening. Okay, there's an inventory item I wasn't expecting. I can't quite reach it. All right. Well, there you have it. I can't quite reach it. Work. Hey, Metali, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the resub. 30 months. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support. Maybe Jorf should have played this after all. Be right. Hmm. Made in Korea by Breastomatic. They feel so real. <laughs> I mean, sure. They're made of rubber. I should have guessed. I'd rather leave it here. Do you think this is where the magicians prestige all the bodies? There's just like a pile of corpses back over here behind the uh, behind the wall. Thirty months doesn't sound They're real. Those cute little things you get in fancy drinks. I don't think I'd have any use for that. 
I don't think I'd have any use for that. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling <laughs> from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? <laughs> I forgot that was available. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Vitaly. <laughs> I've heard it's the cheapest game on Steam. This is the word. I wasn't around to learn this last night, but people are buzzing about it. Let's see here. Open. It's locked. Well, Dean, dang it. Or if I can pick up that box of of crowbars. Do, 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 do. Sweet! Crowbar! One of the most useful tools an adventurer can have. I love some loom idea. too. I might do some unnecessary damage. Well, now ain't the time to be playing baseball. It just ain't the time. A crowbar is really satisfying to use. You take a crowbar to the right task. Man, that's some good stuff. Oh, there's a key. But that's the key I need. Hey, Bellboy. He looks pretty conceited. <laughs> that, I'm afraid, honestly sounds more like something a conceited person would say. Hello. I'm Mike Larish, the Bellboy. How may I help you? <laughs> Hi, Mike Larish. Ah! Hi, Mike Larish, the Bellboy. Is there a back way out of this joint? Oh, there's just the front entrance. That's the only way in and the only way out. Why do you want to know? I'd like to work out escape routes in case of fires. It's a hobby of mine. I like to count back doors. Ah, oh, that's a pretty weird hobby. Sorry, but you picked the wrong building. About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I need to borrow it for a while. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. How long have you been working here? For about six months now. My uncle co-owns this hotel with Anderson, so he got me this job. <laughs> Are there any special shows on today? Uh-huh. Lola uh -huh. will be doing her showgirl routine soon. That's a show that you better not miss. She's one pretty dame. Anderson owns this hotel? Anderson co-owns the hotel. With his uncle? Uncle EA owns half. Anderson is using the money from the business to build up his airline. Have you seen Faye Russell in here? Yeah, I sure have. She left here not long ago with Anderson. She sure is beautiful, isn't she? That Anderson is a lucky guy to be hanging out with her. Thanks for the information. That's okay. <laughs> You're right, Callus. What's that key? In the birth of the key many moons ago. Yeah, this guy is a pure gremlin. Sorry There's no question. You. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. This was my lucky bet when oh, I played wait. in the majors. I just want to be able to pick up the inventory. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. I'll just pick up that. Uh, key. Hey, that key belongs to Miss Lola. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, me? Yeah, you. You are supposed to be upstairs. Ain't he supposed to be upstairs? I don't know how you got out of your room, King. 
But this time I'm gonna make it difficult for you to leave the hotel. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Take my clothes from me? Don't worry, King. We'll take good care of your clothes. Hey guys, don't leave me here. <laughs> me and my big mouth. <laughs> I say that to people all the time, hoping they'll take my clothes and, uh, you know, force me into an uncomfortable situation. Uh, and it just never pans out. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Your credit card didn't uh, didn't swipe the first time. Could you do it again? Wow, what are you going to do? Take off my clothes? <laughs> it just never works. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stab me. Man who was stabbed. Okay. <laughs> Where is he storing those gag breasts? Let's see. Well, he's not using them as a butt pad, clearly. Uh, so I don't know. It's hard to say. It's to the bat. Okay. How are we going to get that key? <laughs> I don't guess he ever turns around, does he? That doesn't seem to work. Hmm, made in Korea by Breastomatic. They feel so real. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. Hmm, wonder what the solution is here. Oh, is this how I save games? Oh, that's charming. Hmm. These are standard issue with Anderson's goons. I haven't visited every possible place yet. Not a good idea. I might do some unnecessary damage. Go back. Hmm. Maybe I can, uh... So I'm going through this with no idea of what's supposed to happen. I haven't been spoiled on it yet. Hey, Average Goon, thank it's you so much for the you. resub. This door must be three feet thick. The number one Amazon wishlist stream on all of Twitch. That's right, it's important to choose the right hashtags. So where else can I go? Can I just open the window? Surely not. It's sealed shut. Well, I happen to have the key. It's no use. The window's made out of bulletproof glass. What kind of hotel is this? Oh, the dressing room. I don't have a way in there yet, though, right? It's locked, and I need the key that's in the lobby. Not a good idea. I might do some unnecessary damage. Hmm. What am I missing? That's a very cool wig. 
Nice wig. I don't think I need that. Hmm. If anyone wants to give me a little hint, I'll take it if you happen to know what I'm supposed to do. Oh wait, maybe I can probably open the chest. Here we go. Now we're getting it. Well, what do you know? I just found a towel. Oh sweet, now we're unstoppable. It's just full of towels and sheets. Not a good idea. I might do some unnecessary damage. That's definitely where we're headed. Is a I've always had a thing for brunettes. Is a lady on. disguise, right? Redheads too. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. That doesn't seem to work. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. Towel dress. Yeah, drag is usually the answer. We're all born naked, and the rest is just adventure game drag. Cregan, uh, Monkey Island 1 literally gave you a red herring in your inventory at one point, so yes. That doesn't seem to work. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. Yes, you, you fed it to George Lucas. And you combine outfits. Oh, this is interesting. That would clash with what I'm No, it doesn't look like I can. Let's pick up somehow. I'm already it? carrying that. No. Nah. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. Hmm. That would clash with what I'm wearing at the moment. Hmm. Uh, open the door set was locked, I believe. Didn't it? Maybe, uh, maybe not. It's locked. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try something again here. We got this, we got this. We'll make this work. Gotta get the key. Gotta get the key. Key's the goal. Now we're walking around there, skivvy... Howdy, boy. Mikey boy. Don't call me Mikey boy. Hey. About that key again. What do you want now? I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. There it is. Thank you, Dr. Mario. Yeah, it turns out, uh, I guess this is just a talking puzzle. Lola. Yeah. Yeah. Secret ingredients lies. I mean, honestly, that is after a... It fits. <laughs> after a crowbar, one of the most useful tools in Adventure Game Protagonist's toolbox. Ooh la la. Uh... Hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. Hey. It's been a while. Not long enough. Ha <laughs> ha. How are things? Much better, since you walked out of my life. Boy, how long is this room? Uh, because I'm trying to figure out the perspective here. This is usually where I turn to Wilco Web Kevin in the chat, and I ask, um... Is this room like 30 feet across? Are those giant costumes in the front? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you think of my new boxer shorts? What is it with you, Joe? You always asked me that question when we were going out. Except back then, you never wore them in public. Lola, 
I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? Hmm. I have yeah. to know. This is our business. This is definitely our business. What? That's none of your business. Once you walked out of that door, you walked out of my life. Oh, there's some handcuffs on the bed. Awuga. Do you think we might get together again one day? Maybe we could go ice skating together when hell freezes over. Oh, dang. Dang. You look really nice in that outfit. Flattery will get you nowhere, King. But thanks, anyway. My Aunt Dorothy isn't too well. What? Who's Aunt Dorothy? She's Uncle Toto's wife. You're weird, Joe. <clears throat> now what do you really want? <laughs> Why was that option there? Wow, Joe's a real creep, huh? Hey, maybe you could indulge me with a little bit, you know, the foot massage. I'm going to click it. To hell with it. Foot massage would be really neat. Keep this up, Joe, and I'll give you a face massage with a ah. rolling pin. Ha <laughs> ha. Addison's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape. Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's a body it took massage. took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Wait. Look, I'm sorry huh? for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel, <laughs> and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Don't, how many of us here hop into the shower and then get undressed like that? That's always a good strategy. I let the water run out. Full of some old you know, junk. Pro tip. If you do that, you don't have to do laundry. Your clothes are clean just like you are at the end of the shower. Mira, mira, on the wall. Who's the handsomest pilot of them all? So he just says that to every mirror, huh? Hubba, hubba. That Lola sure is some fancy dame. <laughs> hubba, hubba. That Lola sure is some <laughs> fancy dame. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, baby. We're going to need to... Uh, wait, here we go. We're going to need to kill the music for just a moment. Uh, because I need to get a carefully isolated version of uh this sound effect so everyone chat please be quiet for one minute i'm going to even mute my microphone that way this is the cleanest take of this possible so i can extract it later on uh yeah gotta get a clean clip hubba, hubba. that lola sure was some fancy dame hubba, hubba. that lola sure was some fancy dame wow Hubba hubba. <laughs> hubba hubba. Okay, we're, you can you guys can be loud again. Don't worry. Thank you for uh, Why the heck would helping I out. That? I'll find something to do with that sound effect. Through Lola's personal stuff. It's probably going on the uh, on the old sound machine or soundboard. Pick up Lola. Oh, he'd love to. Wait, so Lola's clothes aren't a... That doesn't seem to work. I've always had a thing for brunettes. And yes, we blondes. know. We know, we know. We know. Too. Yes, yes. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. She's got a what plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found what? You can use this dress as a disguise. Oh. Here. Thanks. I would need comedy breasts. I won't forget this. Yeah. 
Right. Well, you better get out of here. I've got a show in ten minutes and I ain't dressed yet. Okay, let's get out of here. Wow. It's a real adventure game protagonist moves here. It is a pretty big adventure game cliche to have the uh, the drag scene, right? I mean, it's not really drag. This is, I guess, just disguise. Meanwhile, deep underground, a secret the laboratory. You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With what? It, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. What? Watch as I demonstrate. Dinosaur people? Wait. Now to activate the machine. Oh, I hope this doesn't the awaken something inside transformed me. Transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. Soon she will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. <laughs> It doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor a technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Mm -hmm. Then I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes, Living Runs. This has big Sauron energy. I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. This game did get 300% better very quickly. Now it's gone places, and I didn't expect that. And the truck door comes in the night! <laughs> no, I'm digging this vibe now. Like, now I'm here for it. This game, more than anything so far, uh, reminds me of Rex Nebular, um, which is not exactly a uh, compliment. Hello there, big boy. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I'm Mike Loris. How may I help you? Well, oh, there's slobber all over you. Hmm. How do I look? Am I beautiful or what? Ah, oh, you look a million dollars, ma'am. If I wasn't such a nerd, I'd ask you out. And <laughs> if you weren't such a nerd, I'd accept. <laughs> What's Joe even doing? This is an integral. I missed you. Uh -huh. uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? You look mighty like flirt with that him. little bellboy outfit. <laughs> Why, thank you, ma'am. By the way, did your mom make that outfit for you? Yes, she did. She's they didn't give you a bell <laughs> bellboy woman. uniform? She cooks for me, she cleans up after me, and she makes my clothes for me. What's a nice guy like you doing in a place like this? I work here for my uncle, EA. My uncle, he Electronic Arts. This hotel with Anderson. Cooper, 360. I really must go. Nice talking to you. My pleasure, ma'am. I wouldn't want to risk them finding out that I'm not a woman. Oops. 
Hurry, Sparky. We gotta get to the airport. Hey, that wasn't Lola. That was King. Let's get him! <laughs> Thanks for pulling my clothes out of the trash, Sparky. <laughs> Uh-oh, Rico and Eddie are hot on our heels. Wait, this is a puzzle? Um, can I throw a chicken at him? Maybe I can. Take this, you goons. <laughs> <laughs> now ain't the time to be playing baseball. Oops. Let's see. Okay, now I feel feel better. Um oh wait. Look at hey. Cows seem to like this stuff. You say. That doesn't seem to work. Pick up hay. Wait a minute. There's something under here. Uh-oh. Look at oil. It's a can of slippery, greasy oil. Oh, I'll drink that, and that'll be so fast they can't shoot me. It's time for an oil change. <laughs> oil be back. Okay, Sparky, let's get to the airport. <laughs> well, Ms. Russell, everything seems to be in order. You may board the plane. Finally, I've been waiting here for ages. Oil be back. <laughs> you didn't even use the oil the right way. If you've ever played Spy Hunter, you put it on the on the road and then they spin out. You don't just blop it on front of their car. But then he said oil be back. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe this is a real fun. game. You got that? Yes. Whatever you say. Yes. Let's uh, go now, shall we? Hold it right there, Anderson. Cooper. Who are you? He's uh, nobody, Faye. Now just get on the plane. I'm Joe King, owner and pilot of this plane. I thought you said it was yours. Don't listen to him, Faye. You couldn't pilot your way out of a paper bag. At least I don't look like I need to wear one. At least I don't look like I need to wear one. You're asking for trouble, King. I'm going to run you out of town. Push him into the propeller. Oh, wait, we insult sword fighting him now? I heard that you were a pretty fast runner. You're beginning to get on my nerves. <laughs> These look like all the answers and insult sword fighting when you don't know the proper answer. Hey, uh, wait till you get a load of this. Wait till you get a load of this. <laughs> Why do you hit him? He had it coming to him, Miss Russell. Nobody takes customers away from the Amazon Queen. Hmm, I thought he was kind of cute. Joe! Hey, Sparky. Let me guess. This guy is going to say he's the owner of the plane, right? No, Miss Russell. This is my pal Sparky, the Queen's mechanic. We've got to get a move on. There's a big storm brewing. Well, I think it's time we got this show on the road. Later, high above the Amazon jungle. By the way, everyone, welcome into that for this wackadoo game. If this is your first time here, consider dropping a follow. If you're a VOD head watching on YouTube, subscribe, like, ring the bell, comment. You idiot! You've crashed!
crashed the plane! Hey, it's not my fault. Yeah, right. We were hit by lightning. What could I do? I don't want to hear excuses. Just get us out of this mess, okay? Okay. Look at Duple bag. It's closed. I'll open up this Duple bag. I just found a knife and a lighter. Oh man, those are two very good adventure game inventory items. I don't want to cut that. <laughs> I was gonna murder Sparky. Oh well. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Oh, I was hoping there'd be something hidden in the uh, cushions. Hey, Sparky, what you got for me? How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. How long will it take you to fix her? Fix her? You need more than a mechanic to fix the queen, Joe. You need a miracle worker. Can you stop <laughs> the water leak? I can slow it down a little, but I'm afraid she's gonna sink. We gotta find a way off the plane. Yeah, what's the proper amount of water to have in the cabin of a plane? Like, how much is too much, I guess is what I'm asking. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. Constipated? Stuck in a sinking plane in the Amazon jungle? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately, but that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. <laughs> That yo -yo. He's looking a bit pudgy. He wow. eats too much beef jerky. Joe, don't be Have such a jerk. Have proved any? I'm afraid not, Joe. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. In all fairness, Joe, I haven't made any attempt to address our situation. Six water is too much. Miss Russell, I understand you're upset. Damn right I am. I'm mad as hell. Are you ever in a good mood? Hey, little Matt. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a great evening. I don't have to take this. I'm not too happy either, lady. But you ain't helping things. Why should I help? This is your mess. You clean it up. Are you ever in a good mood? Usually. But not when I'm stuck in a jungle with a nincompoop mechanic and a stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking bush pilot. <laughs> Glad you could be here, little Mac. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Leave Sparky out of this. He's a real good writer. Oh, yeah? What does he write? Comic books? Yeah, he does. And they're better written than most of your movies. Wow. That does it! I don't have to listen to this! Why are we all so angry at each other? You aren't still mad at me, are you? I'm <laughs> quite angry. Now leave me alone so I can stew. Why don't you quit your whining for things. a moment? Whining? Why, I haven't even started yet, mister! <laughs> You've got problems. You've got problems. I wrecked my plane over you. Over me? How dare you! You didn't have to fly me into this hellhole. No one held a gun to your head. I bet Anderson would have done the job right. Wow. Why is she so angry? Probably because we're just like a jerk in general in this game, right? Joe is uh, just kind of maybe you should rude by default. Ahead. It's too late, Buster. If I'd have done that sooner, then I wouldn't be in this mess. I've had enough. Not as much as I have. Now go do something useful. 
I mean, she does kind of have like the Fate of Atlantis uh, shirt going on, right? Fate of Atlantis except dinosaur people. Uh oh. Welcome to season two of Lost because we just opened the hatch. 360, bro. I don't think that's what that says. Um, oh, piranhas. Games love piranhas. There's no way I'm going to put my arm in the water with those piranhas around. Here you go, fishies. Thirty six D bra, maybe it does. <laughs> oh no. I thought it was Anderson three sixty, bro. <laughs> I think it says three thirty six D bra. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if Sparky needs his propeller. If I had a plane, that's probably what I put on the side of it. That's already my custom tag. Uh, for my car. That doesn't seem to work. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. 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 It's beyond repair. Hey, ball, not that. that. Seem to work. This is probably what we need. We probably need to uh, degauss the stream here to get rid of uh, get rid of some of these bad vibes. <laughs> There we go. Now everything should go smoothly. How did we get rid of the piranhas? We got rid of the piranhas by throwing beef jerky at them. And then we discovered that the plane says 36D bra on the side of it. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I don't like being a bully. Yeah, you want my bully a lily pad. No thanks. I'm a wild-eyed loner at the gates of oblivion. <laughs> Wait. No thanks. I'm a wild-eyed loner at the gates of oblivion. That sounds like something Max would say in Sam and Max. <laughs> The stem is holding the lily pad in place. Ah. Is this really going to be the solution? I don't want to cut that. Hmm. This game is freeware if you want to play it yourself. Uh, you can pick it up on GOG. It looks pretty bad. You can download it from ScumVM's website. Huh. I just clip over the water. What if I just set the jungle on fire? I'm a pilot for hire, not a pyromaniac. Oh, wait, the stem is an atom. Oh, my goodness. That should do the trick. This is, I'm really going to paddle around a, uh, Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. <laughs> what kind of cartoon buffoonery is this? Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. 
Yeah, you can download it legally and free straight from Scum DM's website, uh, Cregan. Okay, guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm going to try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call, too. You're going to hey, be more able recordings. to get out of this mess. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. A favor? A sort of favor. Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky. I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. Yeah. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe's right. Joe. Joe's right. He really can't uh, guarantee anything. Let's go see what we left behind. Thank you, Moral Recordings. <laughs> you see, this is me too. Um, Living Grinds, I wasn't sure that this was a game that I desperately needed to play. But now that I know there's a Dino Ray, I am so in. So we're looking for something else in here that we need. You not that. Oh, did my crowbar go away? Dang it. Not fair. What else is there in here that we might want? Use knife on crates, on crates. Crates on crates on crates. Just doing the old hot spot. I could do that, but it'd be a waste of time. Hmm. It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. I can't move it. I can't move it. What am I missing? Feel free just to go ahead and tell me more recordings. I don't mind the hint here. Is the duffel bag open? I believe we already opened the duffel bag. It's already open. Have a look at the seats. Oh, just look at them, huh? I just found the remains of one oh. of Sparky's comic books. All that's left of it is a soggy coupon. Ooh, a soggy coupon. It's a pocket rocket decoder ring coupon clipped from a Commander Rocket comic. There's part of a blueprint on the back of it. That doesn't seem to work. All right, thank you, Moral Recordings. I appreciate it. Be sure to download the Honey extension for your uh, browser uh, so you can enjoy all the finest coupons. The stream brought to you by Honey. A better way to shop. What a ride. <laughs> what do you want now, Joe? Wow. Promise me that you'll stay put. Give me one good reason why I should stay here while you go off for help. Hmm. The forest has swarms of killer bees. Okay, that's one good reason, but I'm still not convinced. If you don't stay, I'll tell your agent. You tell my agent? If anything was to happen to me, he'd kill me. <laughs> You'll be okay here with Sparky, won't you? Of course I'll be okay. Sparky. We can sit on the bank here and watch your stupid plane sink. <laughs> I like her. You're not still mad at me, are you? Why, of course not, Joe. I've gone beyond mad. I'm furious! Maybe we can resolve our differences. 
Give up, Joe. I hate you. It's as simple as that. The sooner you accept that, the sooner we can get on with life. We're going to get some romancing the stones action going on here soon. What can I do for you, Joe? Will you keep an eye on Faye while I'm gone? You can count on me, Joe. I'll make sure she doesn't leave my sight. What are the Queen's chances? Gee, Joe. Gee, I've Joe. Gotta admit, it doesn't look good. Even uh, that's not so good, Joe. She'd need a lot of work. What was the name of that comic book again? It's Commander Rocket. The issue I want has Rocket battling the Chicago mob. I'd be really happy if you can find one for me. I'll do my best, Sparky. I'll be back soon. See ya, Joe. <laughs> this is like me when my parents would go out of town on vacation and leave me with my grandmother. They'd be like walking out the front door and like the last thing I'd say would be like, if you see a copy of New Mutants number 16 while you're out, be sure to pick it up for me. And they're like, yeah, Jess, absolutely. Don't worry. If we stumble across any back issues of the New Mutants, we'll be sure to uh, to snatch that right up. If we happen to be in a comic book shop and we're going through the long boxes, um, we'll we'll make that happen for you. You're not just being dumped here. Squawk? What a pretty bird. Squawk. Polly want a cracker? Squawk. Oh, oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, oh. Squawk. Hey, you can talk. Squawk. Oh. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. <whistles> oh, oh. Squawk. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Yeah. Oh. I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh oh. What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk. Uh oh, help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. Squawk. Wow. Hey, come back here. That's just great. I'm only That's just, just arrived great. in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. That doesn't seem to work. It's a bit too strong for me to break. I can't move it. Let's see if we could use some sort of cutting device. Wait. Rewind. Joe, get in that water. Joe, do what I say. There's no other hot spots on this very lush screen, huh? Joe decides to start his own live trader goods. He called Aldi. Uh-oh. Phew, that sure is big. <laughs> That's what I would do after walking like two feet away from a gorilla. I'd look at it and say, Phew, that's big. Phew, that sure is big. <laughs> I like how Joe thinks. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Phew, that is big. <laughs> <laughs> this game, though, it's kind of working for me in a ridiculous way. Phew, that sure is big. I mean, honestly, the production values I for it not to be a Sierra, Lucas Arts, or other big studio is pretty impressive. Let's see if this thing talks to. <laughs> hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is going to let me through. Why is there a gorilla in the Amazon? Um, I mean, I guess he got shipped here for free, two-day shipping. Um, hi, I'm Joe King. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> Barry came through here recently. Uh, I was just speaking to a different animal, and I was wondering if it just recently came through here. 
Did a parrot come through here recently? I guess that's, uh, no. Wow. Hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't uh, think the gorilla is going to let me through. Okay, I know the solution to this puzzle. This is simple. Just stab this gorilla. I don't want to cut that. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I was just bludgeon this gorilla. <laughs> hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is going to let me through. Not with that attitude, you won't. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. Hey, uh, do you happen to have any issues with this comic book? Immolate? Really? I'm a pilot for hire, not a pyromaniac. I guess I could try to use a vine. Tying on it. that up ain't gonna do me much good. All right, let's go back and see if there's anything the other direction. Pretty cool gorilla. This reminds me a little bit of Blue Force. Hey guys, there's a gorilla up there. Damnedest thing. The yeah, tambourine, that's right, TL Wolf. Is that a pterodactyl? Where how many times I can walk across this bridge? The bridge isn't safe enough to cross. Says you. Joe's a big quitter, and I'm tired of it. The bridge isn't safe enough to cross. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Well, look at that. I solved a puzzle. Hmm, perhaps this banana will be useful with my new gorilla friend. Boy, there sure are a lot of bananas up there. <laughs> That's constantly what I'm saying every time I see a banana tree. <laughs> Boy, there sure are a lot of bananas up there. I had a banana for every time I said that about a banana tree. I can't even remember how the hubba hubba sounded now. I wish that I'd gone ahead and clipped it in the moment because... Now, I really want to hear Joe say hubba hubba again and remember it sound like some sort of thing that a human being would never ever say. Yeah, there's nothing better, <laughs> Paul, than when one of these games has like 96 verbs. Like, Gabriel Knight 1 is a big offender in this area. It's like, you know, why don't we have an icon for every possible use situation? many of which may be used one time or zero. Now, I kind of respect it like in Space Quest Four, where you have the smell and the taste icons solely as a way to have jokes in the game. But generally speaking, yeah. It's long, slightly curved, and yellow. Yep, it's a banana, all right. Verbs are great. I'm not feeling that hungry. Verbs are one of my favorite parts I'm of speech. I'm not feeling that hungry. Here, have a banana. <laughs> banana. Oh shit, that gorilla just talked. I mean, oh poop. Hello again. <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can get past? <laughs> Ooh. 
I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga. <laughs> so you're a gorilla, ain't hey, you? Hey, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't you? Uh huh. Unga, unga, uh, gorilla. I thought gorillas came from Africa. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. He's a juggalo. Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. Hmm. <laughs> this is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky. A phantom primate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> another, another puzzle solved. I just, I just existential crisis the gorilla to death. <laughs> well, now I just have to stop the evil doctor from using his dino ray. On the Amazon women. <laughs> That's right, Robin. Any questions? <laughs> the top hits of yesterday and today. It's Decaf Jedi. <laughs> this may be my favorite game. <laughs> oh wow yeah you know i play great with two-year-olds that's good to hear kevin meanwhile back at the crash that site that creep has left us here <laughs> he makes me so mad i feel better now that was expensive perfume so i'm rich i can do whatever i want what are you going to do now? <laughs> I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. I like her jumpers. Nice jumpers. Wow. I can see my house from here. Walk to jungle. Walk to jetty. Boy, look at this scene, though. This is kind of high tech, right? Eat your heart out, LucasArts. Eat your Lucas hearts out. Yeah, we got parallax scrolling. That's one of the best kinds of scrolling. Low ride a camp. Crater Bob. Crash site. So we got Crash Site, Trader Bob, Florida Camp, Jetty, and Jungle. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <clears throat> yeah, look at those draw distances. I'd like to see Tears of the Kingdom pull this off. Go Trader Bob. We had hit, uh oh. All right, prepare your oof uh, redemptions. Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-hour general store and authentic native village playground. Okay. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what do you think we're going to get here? Are we going to get deeply problematic portrayal uh, of indigenous peoples? Or are we going to get the subversion of, oh, they are actually quite 
modern and sophisticated, and it's you who is uh, who is the oaf for assuming otherwise. Um, yeah, this is going to be uh, this is the question. What are we going to get here? Um, the ladder, yeah. Hello, what are you looking at? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm talking here. Do you come from around here? Where's the pygmy village? We're <laughs> trying for progressive and end up being both culturally insensitive and also still sexist. Yeah, that feels like a uh, a decent uh, a you decent possibility. Aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. This is just fraught. I think he's working on his tan. Hi, I'm Joe King. You took a bad idea, you want to go out, but take a bad idea. Sorry, I don't understand. But you got a lot of water, and you could go over the Saturday. I beg your pardon? Mm, the last person I had trouble speaking their language, I caused them to uh, just, well, I guess it was a, a gorilla in that case, but the last time I had this scenario, it caused someone to cease to exist. Can you speak English? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. Wow. Joe, you're a real a-hole. Hi, I'm Joe King. I beg your pardon? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, no, this is Rat Living Runs. The, the fact that we have, like, Jawa speak makes it uh, worse than it could have been. You speak English? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. You can tell that he's American because he's angry at them about the fact that he doesn't speak their language. We accept MasterCard and Visa. We accept MasterCard and Visa. He's asleep. I'd rather not wake him. Oh, sorry. I thought it was empty. I'm gonna leave it open like a real jerk. Surely Visa and MasterCard didn't exist in 1949, right? Oh, we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I hey, Trader Bob. I shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else? <laughs> no! Totally unrelated Trader Bob. <laughs> That's funny to me. Uh, I was just talking to this bird a few minutes ago, and he mentioned a guy named Trader Bob. And then I got here, and in this building that said Trader Bob's outside, I walked in here, introduced yourself as Trader Bob, standing about five feet away from the parrot that told me about Trader Bob. Are you by chance the Trader Bob the parrot was talking about? <laughs> did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy, we gotta talk. Gotta talk. What's your name? Rit. My name's King, Joe King. 
pilot for Haya. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Am I? Why do you need my help, <laughs> you lazy bum? Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. Who is the traitor in Jungle Cruise, uh, the Disney ride? Uh, Jungle Cruise, traitor. Traitor Sam. Yes, that's right. Um, I was just noticing the Mickey Mouse ears up there, and I'm wondering if Trader Bob here is, instead of being a uh, reference to Trader Joe's or something like that, is actually a direct reference to Trader Sam from Jungle Cruise. I'm a pilot for hire, not a detective. And I'm the owner of an authentic native village and 24-hour convenience store. Sometimes we gotta do things that we never planned on doing. <laughs> I'm not interested. I've got my own problems. Oh yeah? Princess Azura's life depends on us finding her. What could be more important than that? Dude, this is the traitor and everything. No, no, uh, I'll read that one, uh, Kevin. It took me a second to, uh, to follow it, but uh, now I'm right there with you. Great Lady Gaga song, though. My movie star client is gonna sue my pants off. Yikes! Legal Yikes! fees can be expensive. Look, the princess is loaded. If you rescue her, she may be able to help you. Okay, I'll help. Fill me <laughs> in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a later Florida. company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. Later Hosen Company. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Flo Rida kidnapped her? What makes her? you think that Flo Rida kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Flo Rida has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's the later Hosen Company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the later hosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. <laughs> I know we've been talking about later hosen, now going to reveal we don't know what, what they are. What exactly is later hosen? Later hosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floda on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. <laughs> He's like a brain-damaged Columbo. Just one more thing. What are later Hosen? <laughs> Alright, now that I've got that, I'm on my way. <laughs> Who'd want to wear mouse ears on their head? Take that, Disney. I'd like to buy this. Sorry, son, but that's not for sale. I don't touch the stuff. It gives me gas. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Uh, I think I left it at home. I'm sorry, boy. No ID, no alcohol. Wow. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha-infested waters. Wait, did they just reuse that line from earlier here almost as a non-sequitur? Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They hmm. are not for sale. Sorry. Not oh, great. Hello? Excuse me. How much is this? I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. Yeah. Just shook my entire desk. 
All right. Yeah, aniseed balls. What are aniseed balls? I'd like to buy this. Sorry, son, but that's not for sale. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son, and I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. This guy's very quick to assume what our finances are like. Let's see if we can give him this coupon. Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. Smart, smart, smart. Ooh, it's a record. Great German composers. Elevator Muzak collection. Excuse me, how much is this? I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. Oh, this is an important moment. Uh, I wanted to uh, just take a break and uh, give everybody a quick Bluebells update. Uh, as you know, uh, my daughter is playing Little League softball this season on the Bluebells, uh, her team. And uh, tonight they faced uh, a team that are known as the most fearsome group of young girls in the Little League. Uh, they have a pitcher who uh, is basically uh, one, of the, one of the toughest to hit in the league was the rumor going around. And uh, it, was a, uh, it was a tough game. We were absolutely thwopped. Uh, but... Uh, but my daughter managed to get a hit, uh, got on first, stole second and third, and then scored uh, the only run that our team scored during the game. So it was an exciting time uh, around here. We went to Dairy Queen afterwards to celebrate. So that was uh, that was our excellent evening. Go Bluebells. You lost, uh, but she did pretty well. So there you go. Thank you, Kevin. Go bluebells. Hi there. Rah! Pieces of me. Pieces of me. Ah. Oh wow. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Rah! Rah! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Squaw! Ah! Ah! Polly want a cracker? Ah! The name's Wedgwood. Squaw! Wedgwood. Mozo. What's China doing in the Amazon? Who's a pretty boy then? Fuck! Not you! Bark! That's for sure. Bark.com! Like to talk, but I gotta fly. Ah! Wise guy, eh? Oh man, I went to Fark.com the other day. A little trip back in time. And what's amazing is, there's still people commenting on Fark.com articles. Uh, it is, uh, it, it is a strange world. Gross. I think they're full of castor oil. I'd like to buy this. Sorry, son, but that's not for sale. Is this a store with nothing that's viable? No viable viables? Okay, we're going to talk to Naomi. I think I've had enough fun. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Mm. Which merchandise in particular? Do you sell comic books? You mean like Commander Rocket? Yeah, that's the very comic book I'm after. Do you have any in stock? Sorry, we don't deal in children's literature. Maybe you should try a newsstand or something. I gotta just dunk on comics constantly. What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. Gee, <laughs> hey! Welcome here! G number three. A part of my class this semester and really enjoyed it. Hey, well, thank you for uh, for revealing. Thanks for being uh, thanks for being 
uh, um, since I've not to reveal until now. But uh, that's awesome. It was. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed uh, enjoyed the class. Thank you. Oh wow, that's always uh, always neat and and strange to hear at the same time. But hope you've enjoyed watching me uh, watching me play weird old games. There's nothing wrong with bowl cuts. I guess not, but I would like to try something different every now and again. Is hairstyling a family tradition? Sort of. My great-grandfather used to take a little off the top, if you know what I mean, until he ran out of customers. Mm -hmm. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight, and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about get your date tonight? I want deeper into oh, this situation. It's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened, and I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. Mm. What am I going to do? If I drank the perfume, the perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to do that. But I could trade you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that mm. in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Well, we know that, uh... We just saw some perfume being thrown into the river, so there's a good chance we might come across some perfume. How many students uh, have let me know that they've seen my stream? A handful. Um, I have uh, a few former students that uh, that pop out uh, in and out uh, from time to time uh, into the streams, and uh, a few have uh, have mentioned dropping in. I think it's so esoteric uh, that a lot of them bail pretty quickly. <laughs> Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. In their usual if position. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. <laughs> he thinks Grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. Ah, I got him. Thanks for your time. That's okay. Well, that was Naomi. Cute little with. fella. Hello. Squaw! Hello. I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Ah, wise guy, eh? <laughs> this game is uh, really a something else. Meanwhile, in a secret bunker underground. Okay, this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. Been any success in finding the crystal skull? The crystal skull? Oh, that portrait of himself too. Uh, not yet, Doctor Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Of course. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Excellent. I shall rule the world. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. <laughs> Boy, my bot is just spamming every message it has right now, isn't it? Go, bot. Go. Join the Discord. Please, everyone. If you aren't in the Discord already, that link will take you right there to join. Great place to keep up with the stream. You can also keep up with my pal uh, Ben's streams. If you aren't following Ben already, first of all, shame on you. I'll uh, give a shout out here to uh, P.S. Garrick. Every Tuesday night, 
Uh, ben, his pals, Grayson and Sarah play uh, fantastic uh, adventure games. Uh, one of my favorite streams to stop in on. So be sure to follow there. But yeah, Discord's a great place to keep up with all the latest stuff going on with my streams, all of Ben's streams, and uh, also just to talk about games and stuff with a, uh, a friendly group of people. Yeah, you should also follow on TikTok, Facebook, um, Friendster. Um, you should uh, follow me on Venmo so you can see all my latest transactions. Um, it's uh, it's just it's fantastic. You can really get the full Decap Jedi experience on a mirror. 8 to 12 platforms, uh, basically. <laughs> That's right. This game's like one of those movies where the director thought they were making serious cinema and the entire cast knows it's trash. <laughs> Don't forget about Work It. I'm still on Twitter, you know, against my better judgment, even as it sinks further and further into the morass every day. No longer verified, so you can't guarantee that the person you see on there calling himself Decap Jedi is in fact me. But you'll just have to uh, you'll just have to trust me. Morass ain't two words. It's short for Morissette ass. It's a portmanteau. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Where's Faye? I told you to look after her. Gee, uh, sorry, Joe, but she just upped and left. Muttered something about going for help. How long ago did she leave? Gee, I think <laughs> it was about an Gee. hour ago. No, maybe it was two hours. Or was it a half an hour? You know, I should have brought my Commander Rocket watch. Sparky, you're useless. Which way did she go? She headed off toward the Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Why didn't you stop her? I tried really hard to stop her. Honest. But she wouldn't listen to me. Did she physically try to stop her? Did she take any rations? Nope. She took nothing. Except for her makeup kit. I better go find her. Uh, I'll stay here in case she comes back. I put my arm in piranha infested waters enough times for one day. Hmm. Really? Do I need the net? Uh. Please tell me if this does the skip to the other. No, it doesn't do the skip to the exit. Fast travel move that some kinder adventure games choose to implement. This puzzle is definitely saying you need a net. And when I tried to grab the nets earlier, he mentioned piranhas again. So it feels like that's the deal. Maybe this will be another, now that I know I need a net. They'll just give me one situation. Hey, what's up, guy? Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They are not for sale. Sorry. Or what that means. Bob, elaborate. Excuse me, Bob. What can I do for you? Nice shot. Did you decorate it yourself? I had help from Naomi over there. She's got a real knack for interior decorating. She's very pretty. Uh-huh. She sure is. And before you go getting any ideas, I'd just like to say that she's my girlfriend. Thanks for telling me about Naomi. About Naomi. That's okay. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? 
what sort of things do you sell? I sell all sorts of things. Some of them are only for special customers. What are you interested What's in? What's that mean? How do I get to be a special customer? I generally reward my long-term or really helpful customers with special status. If you want to be special, do something to impress me. Would you have a phone? Well, that's vague. Sorry, but the only phone in the village is broken. Would impress you if I stabbed a parrot right in front of you. <laughs> 